Hello everyone, I have here a new review for you. This is the compact size KJV, the authorized version by uh, Church Bible Publishers in black calfskin. This is hand size uh, uh, edition in a very nice calfskin leather with a lovely grain, as you can see right here, with the animator stitching all around it. A very nice spine, where you can see all these raised hops right here which are very very uh, pronounced as you can see there the grain is awesome on this in this leather and uh, stamped in gold done by church bible publishers uh, it comes with two black ribbons very nice ribbons they are thin because this is a small size bible but they're actually very smooth and, and, and long as you can see right here very nice indeed now let's open this up this is indeed an iron calfskin and as you can see it's all perimeter stitched uh, the corner work here is not bad at all uh, it's, it's all folded uh, uh, nicely done and the corners are nicely done right here you can see they're folded and uh, stitched and all four corners are in the same condition which is very nice indeed now it comes with this uh, uh, and sheet this is a vinyl uh, uh, paper and uh, then you have a couple of uh, blank pages in cardstock before we enter into the presentation uh, page and then we have uh, our item number 115C1BK which stands for uh, black compact one piece black uh, this is their website churchbiblepublishers.com if you want to go they only do uh, King James versions so if you love the King James uh, you won't be disappointed going to them because their Bibles are excellent and very good quality and they sell these Bibles at cost so let's take a look at uh, the interior of this Bible right here we got the letter to the King James uh, we also have the translator to the reader right there and uh, if we pass this and let's take a look at the print of this Bible this is Genesis and uh, this is a small font but it is very dark very readable uh, I'd say this is an 8 point font or a 7.5 font um, just guessing but that's what it looks like to me uh, the ghosting it's not uh, terrible uh, this is thin paper but uh, this Bible is very very nice I am very uh, impressed with with uh, how readable this is for such a small font yeah I wouldn't call this uh, a big font but it is very readable and I want to do a comparison with its bigger brother done by Cambridge in one minute it comes with uh, uh, two columns central reference column as well and uh, this black letter so if we go to the uh, very quick to the New Testament you will see that there is no red letter right here some, some folks um, um, actually prefer this black letter to the red letter but this is the case on this one now let's take a look at uh, something that is very very nice this edition comes with a very nice brown art guild it's gold and then underneath you got this uh, awesome light brown color let's want I just want to show you something here many people uh, love the way the pit minions are uh, basically the smaller version of the wide margins done by Cambridge and uh, but that is not the case with the KJV pit minion you'd get the KJV pit minion and the actual KJV done by Cambridge in its wide margin version is not the KJV pit minion it this is actually the Concord uh, edition which is exactly what this little fella is so let's take a look if that is the case this is Psalm 119 and that's exactly the same page as we got right here and as you can see it has the same title it has the same 
references. It has the same line by line by line, verse by verse. Same page 645. So this is indeed the smaller version of your wide margin KGV done by Cambridge. It is a pity that you don't get uh, uh, the pit minion version in the KJV, but in this case you got the Concord in, in this very nice font. This is a very readable font, by the way. But as you can see, this little one is not that bad. It is bolder than this one. It is smaller as well. But I couldn't tell you which one of these two is more readable because this one being bigger, it is thinner. Uh, lighter ink and uh, it's not as bold but this, this one is bolder it's it's uh, darker in appearance so there you go you have big brother right here by Cambridge and the little fella little brother right here done by George Bible publishers now this is goatskin and this one is calfskin all right that is a difference as well in in the cover but as you can see right here, uh, this one right here is going to cost you a lot more than this one. This, this one's right now, I'm really not sure, but they were around $50, $55 a piece, uh, while this one could be around $200 a piece. So there you have it. So let's get back to our review. And uh, this Bible has as well at the very end a lot of helps that uh, may help you uh, with your uh, research and your studies. It has, it has a short glossary of biblical usage. It has a, a couple of pages right there. It's not a very extensive one. And then we have a concordance. This is the Concord version of the KJV. So that's uh, what Concord stands for. It's the concordance. It's a very nice concordance. Let me see. There you go. That's how thick the concordance is in, in this Bible. All right. And then we got uh, a Bible dictionary, which is also pretty good. Have a look at this. So it's pretty thick too. It's nearly as big as the concordance itself. All right, in a two column format. And then we got... Uh, Cambridge Bible Maps and Gazetteer. We got eight maps, and these are the old Cambridge maps. All right, as you can see right there. it here which is helpful as well to have and then we go one two and three and four blank cardstock pages for extra notes and this is it this is our uh, review for today a very nice Bible indeed by the way this is very flexible and it's very nice to the feel this uh, uh, leather is is buttery soft it is very very soft very smooth and it's very very flexible as you can see right here okay so this leather is quality calfskin it is ironed but this is a lovely grain as you can see right there that is an amazing grain for 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 a cover of this uh, uh, price well this is all for today like us if you haven't done so please subscribe and I uh, hope to see you very soon in another review or rebind. Shalom.